about to show you my Guardian Dragon Hunter build for large scale fights in battlegrounds. Question is, why do you even want to change to Dragon Hunter if old basic frontline Guardian is still meta? Well, as a Dragon Hunter, you will be more fragile, but the damage is better, and you can have a lot more fun using Invirtus, Traps, Longbow, and so on. I mean, as Dragon Hunter, your Virtue of Courage is blocking attacks for 5 seconds, breaks stun, gives you retaliation, stability, Aegis, and protection with this build. Wings of Resolve removes conditions, heals good, gives you retaliation again. Oh my god, retaliation is everywhere. Plus, you gain additional leap, not to mention how up are the traps, longbow, pierce enemies, and so on. Shortly, this is more powerful build than the old meta one, and it may take a little more experience and practice, but who doesn't like challenges? If you just want to skip the video and see the build, click the link in the description below. Ok, as you can see I'm using full soldier's armor. For the runs you can get Trooper or Melandru. They both have ups and downs. Melandru is a bit more selfish and focuses more on self-preservation. It also allows you to run other things than shouts. When Trooper is better for team support and the stats distribution is much better. So it really just depends on what you are trying to accomplish. For weapons I use Tap because it has good AV, CC and buffs. Weapons are Berserker, with sigil of energy, air and fire. For second weapon it's hard for me to say because I really like greatsword, but honestly I'm always chasing people and have to be in melee range, when longbow arrows are piercing and you can do so much more damage without any effort. Back item, accessory and rings are Berserker, amulet is soldier to push up a little more health and toughness. If you have trouble surviving you can change the rings to soldier. Then, when you are experienced enough, you can start adding your Berserker stats back. Traits are basically the same build as Guardian meta, but to get Dragon Hunter traits, you either lose Valor, Honor or Virtues. I decided to dismiss Valor and keep Honor and Virtues. Valor is good because of the strength in numbers, but is focused more on the meditation skills. Valor is better for looming builds. So let's see, for Honor I use Vigorous Precision, Protective Reviver, Selfless Daring, Honorable Staff, Purity of Body and Pure of Voice. Virtues, Inspired Virtue, I don't know how to say this. Virtue of Retribution, Absolute Resolution, Power of the Virtues, and Indomitable Courage. And finally, Dragon Hunter, Virtues Action, Piercing Light, Defender's Dogma, Hunter's Determination, Pure of Sight, and Hunter's Fortification. Well, for skills I'm using Renewed Focus, because it's, it's just too awesome, it makes you invulnerable and recharges your virtues. Stand your ground, this is a must in Zerg fights, it gives you retaliation and stability. And also removes conditions because of the traits we use here. See, hold the line, grant protection and regeneration to allies, plus converts condition to boon. Or you can use save yourselves. So the idea is to use at least two shots because uh, of this trait. It reduces recharge and uh, converts conditions to boons. Thus, run of the trooper removes additional condition from each affected ally. And test of fate for awesome AOE damage. By the way, if you want, you can easily change weapons to hammer or greatsword and um, gear to full soldier to be tanky. And you can even change traits a bit. If I know I'll be sniping people with uh, my longbow from behind and I know I won't take much damage, I take this. So you will basically do 20% more damage. When I play with the greatsword and uh, play with Milizerh, I usually replace this for sowing devastation. It immobilizes enemies and does damage. For foot I'm using superior sharpening stones, 
and bars of poultry and leek soap. Ok, what you have to know about this build is uh, that your child of courage can now break stun, gives you ease, protection, stability, retaliation and block attacks for next 5 seconds. Shelter will block attack for 2 seconds and heals you up. Renewed focus makes you invulnerable for 3 seconds. Wings of Resolve removes conditions now and heals you up. And you can pull enemies with Spear of Justice plus gain might and retaliation. With shot skill you convert conditions to boons. And Test of Fate gives you protection, cripple enemies, daze them and does awesome damage. If you still have problems removing conditions from you, don't forget that you have combo fields. To remove a condition you must have a combo field light. Guardians actually have to. And then you just use projectile, you see? Thanks for watching, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below.